Hey guys, and welcome back. On this video, we're doing a Saucy Bottoms barbecue rub review. So let's get going. All right, so my friend Mike over at Everyday Barbecue hooked me up with some Saucy Bottom. Threw my name out there. They sent me over some of their rubs. We're gonna give these a shot. And full disclosure, we already opened up the Barnyard Magic and gave that a try, and it was a big hit here in the family. So we're gonna do some chicken thighs, and we're gonna kind of prep these the way I like to serve them, because I don't like the, the chicken skins to be rubbery. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the chicken, chicken skins, and we're gonna scrape the fat off, and then we're gonna rewrap them. We're gonna be cooking them on the master belt. So let's get going. So what I like to do is just Gently remove the skin. And then using a really sharp knife. And what I'm using here is the Dahlstrong Shogun series. And this is the Kiritsuki knife. Um, so I'm very particular on the knives that I use. They have to, uh, they have to fit and they have to feel, feel good when you're chopping and doing all kinds of work. And they have to be sharp. And this particular knife, the way this point is, I love using it because I can get in and, and do some delicate work with it. It's got just enough curve to it to where I can do some chopping or actually some some dicing, you know, in a rocky motion, but it's can work as a chopper as well, up and down. Um, I've tried these out for about, I tried this knife for about two months before I wanted to talk about it because I really, again, I'm very particular. This knife is awesome. It's got a perfect feel to it, a perfect fit. It just it just works. So for any home cook out there, these are probably one of the top knives that I would recommend out there. This thing's incredible. And stay tuned at the end of the video. I'll have some, uh, some more information about this. So let's get back to our chicken. We got our thighs. And what I like to do is, again, with a sharp knife, just start scraping the back of the, the skin and do it as gently as possible without tearing it up. And we're just getting that layer of fat off the skin and this will make the skin crispy and bite through. It's not gonna make it rubbery. Get the other side. Again, be careful, don't do it too hard, don't tear it, and if you do, it's no big deal, but it just makes it look pretty. All right, go ahead and just place this on the other side, and then for our actual protein, I like to just trim off the fat. make it look pretty all right so we got our chicken thighs all prepped and what we're going to be using today is two of the saucy bottoms rubs we're going to be using the oh, not that one the barnyard magic and the competition barbecue rub now I tasted the chopped dust and it's definitely meant for pork. I didn't get a good feeling that it would be good on chicken, but we'll try that later on. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit three of these with the competition. And hit the other three with the barnyard magic. This is definitely uh, not competition style. If this was competition style, I would have no clue what I'm doing because I've never done competition. So this is something I do just because I don't like rubbery skin and I've seen it done for competitions to get that bite through. So I just like doing it. Little extra step to do. Go ahead and get 
all the skins back on and you can tell this one I totally foobarred because it's all messed up but who cares go ahead and put the pants back on this one and give it a light dusting of the competition rub. And the barnyard magic. All right, we got their master built Gravity Series 560 all heated up. We've got a little hickory in there. We're running a temp about 275, looking at maybe two, two and a half hours on these. So let's get these on. All right, let's talk about these Dalstrong knives. Now, again, I'm very particular when it comes to knives. Uh, I was in the restaurant business and knives to me were important because if I'm chopping and slicing all day, it puts a lot of stress on the wrist. So to me, comfort is, is important. Now, I'm not a professional chef. I'm a, just a home cook like probably everybody else out there. So these are affordable, strong, durable, cool looking i mean that's that's a pretty cool looking knife dalstrong asked me to try this out and i told him that go ahead and send me one let me try it for a month or so let me see how it is give my honest opinion on it if i don't like it i'm going to send it right back so they did and it's been a little bit over a month but probably way over a month but i've been using this thing non-stop and it's great so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a giveaway and the rules are very simple. You have to be a subscriber to my channel. You have to go over to Dalstrong, subscribe to them, leave a comment down below that just says, I want one. October 9th, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of those uh, YouTube random comment checker puller things and pull a winner out. We'll check to see if you're a subscriber over at Dalstrong. You gotta definitely be a subscriber to mine. And we'll send you one of these, this particular knife right here, which again, these things are awesome. So again, you got to be a subscriber to me. You got to subscribe to Dalstrong and leave a comment down, down below that says, I want one. We'll pick a winner October 9th, which is a Friday. We'll go ahead and announce the winner on Sunday. So remember, if you want one, you know the rules. All right, so our chicken thighs are done. Took about 245. Got them to an internal temp of 175. They look great, they smell great. Let's go ahead and give one a try. I'm gonna grab this one. And I hope they're bite through because this is gonna look awfully silly.
All right. Mm, that's juicy. All right. So this one's the Barnyard Magic. It's got some good salt. It's got some citrusy flavors, like maybe some some lemon in there. Um, again, I've already tried this one. <laughs> really liked it on chicken. Kids actually liked it on chicken. Um, this one's really good. Again, you got that salty, peppery, lemony, almost like a lemon pepper, but it's not, I mean, it doesn't, it's got a citrusy flavor to it. So let's try the other one. Mmm, it was dripping. All right. So this one reminds me of barbecue. And it's got that the chilies, not as much salt. It's got that really good barbecue rub that you would expect from barbecue. This one is probably my favorite, um, just because that's just my preference. Again, everything's subjective here. I like this one. A lot of people tend to agree with me when I do cooks for people, but this one would be my favorite. I can see this on ribs, some pork, uh, beef. Uh, so definitely give this one a try. On the later cook, we're gonna try the, the chop uh, the chop dust on some pork chops or maybe even some pulled pork or maybe even some chili chiles, some pulled pork chili chiles. I don't know if you guys heard of that, but that, that, that's a great idea. Go check out Saucy Bottom. If you want your own Dal Strong knife, this here's the, uh, the Shogun series, awesome knife. You know the rules. Subscribe to my channel, Doll's Dog's channel, leave a comment, I want one, and you'll be entered into the drawing for this one. If you don't win, don't worry, I have an affiliate link down below. You get 10% off, just use the link below. Remember guys, hit that thumbs up. I'll see you guys on the next run. Thanks for watching.